going to start to work the outside of the hips a bit more, but we're also going to keep working those hamstrings, very stubborn muscles here. Keep the right leg straight, but bring the left foot now beside the right hip. You can lift up and do the little wiggle here. Try to get the knees stacked up. And again, I would recommend you sit up on something. If the top knee doesn't like it, you can put a blanket or a bolster or some support between the two legs. Make sure you don't feel any pain in the knee. This is a hip opener. Just for the record, there are no knee openers in yoga, so you're not really meant to feel this in the knee. From here, we're going to add a twist. So you can bring the opposite hand on the top knee, the left hand behind your back, sit up nice and tall, and then start to pull yourself to the back of the room. Now, this won't be your deepest twist ever. We're not trying to imitate Linda Blair. Just allow yourself to ease to the back. And most of the twist comes through the rib cage. It's easy to over-torque the neck here, but feel like it's a spiraling action. Now, it's a little bit yang for the upper body. You're trying to allow the hips to relax here. Because it is a bit yang for the upper body, we're not going to stay here too long. These fascial bags that we've been talking about serve many purposes. One we talked about is just allowing a slippery surface so the tissues can slide. Scientists have recently discovered that fascia also is like a communications highway. Our immune system uses it to get where it needs to go. If you think of the white blood cells, the macrophages, and leukocytes, the ones that come in to attack the bad guys, how do they get to where they need to go? They don't swim, they actually crawl along the fibers of the fascia. So if we have adhesions and stuck areas, or if we have gaps or potholes in the roads, our immune systems can't get to where they need to go. They don't work as well. So this whole practice is working at a deep cellular level in many ways. So three more breaths here. And just turn your head to the front first, just release the neck, looking over the right shoulder. And then release both hands forward. Now perhaps the juiciest part for a hamstring is this next move, just walk the hands forward and come to where you stop. You might not be able to come too far until you feel it. But if you're feeling it, you're doing it. You can lock the hands straight here, you can rest on your arms. And some people might need to bend the knees, that's okay. Put a block or some support underneath the thigh. If your head's getting a bit heavy, you can rest your head into your hands, rest your forehead onto a block. Again, some people prefer to have a bolster between the chest and the thigh. Try to get to where you can soften here, where you can relax. And again, try to feel what's happening. So rather than running away from the sensations, because they are rather challenging, just breathe with them. Especially notice the exhalation. I mentioned that it's the fascia mostly that keeps the muscles tight. When scientists take a muscle cell called a sarcomere out of the body and they put it in a little Petri dish, they can actually stretch that cell about three times its resting length, length before it snaps. But when the cell is in the body, they can only stretch it about one and a half times its resting length before it breaks. The difference is, inside the body, it's inside the little cellophane wrapper. And so it's the fascia that's more responsible for our tightness than the muscle cells themselves. Muscle cells grow thicker and longer through regular rhythmic repetitive movements, three sets of ten curls with barbells. The fascia, being a yin-like tissue, responds better to long-held static stresses. Technically, what we're doing to our tissues right now is called traction. We're applying a stress without moving and leaving it for time. Similar to the wearing of braces, except braces have to be worn for years. Here we're only going to be for three more breaths.
And again, mindfully pushing the floor away. Slowly come on up. Lean back. Release that top leg. Groan. Shake it out. Again, if you want, you can try windshield wipers for a moment. There are some people who just prefer to sit still. Just feel the rebound of the energy. <laughs> 